everybody. I want to do an update for the garden boxes on the deck. So you can see, got some sunshine coming over the top of the uh, trees there. Looks like the boxes are getting some nice sun. Marigolds are just going crazy, as you can see. The chard looks like it's uh, bouncing back from any of that downy mildew we had. So that's good. I wanted to make sure I want to try and keep this alive over the winter. You can see the cabbage is still growing inside this box. This one loses its sun pretty early in the day now with, uh, you know, moving towards the fall equinox. Marigolds are just hanging over the edge. Cabbage is doing well. You can see you got some nice stalks. We pretty much thinned this down to the, to the nubs for the cabbage or the kale. And I'm thinking that I'm actually going to take anything that's in here, in this area, I'm going to replace it with that, some of the broccoli. I'm going to intersperse the plant, some of the broccoli in here, and some of the areas that maybe down underneath some of this taller cabbage. I'll put some of the broccoli in here too. Now I can fill this box up a little better. As you can see, these once these marigolds get to a certain height, they're pretty much leaving exposed all of this area down here to get sun which will be a good area for that broccoli to grow from. But the uh, cabbage is doing really well up here. It's got some nice color on these leaves. I'm excited to see how we're going to be able to actually harvest some of this for winter to see if, you know, this will give us some nice nice greens because the kale, this one here, this is the, uh, the Bates kale. We've been eating a lot of this this week. I mean, you can tell it's really thin. I mean, we had, we've had three salads off of the Bates kale. And the only one that hasn't been harvested is this one because we wanted to let this one kind of showcase the, the color and the depth of the leaves and how thick they get. And it's just, I don't know, I love kale. It's got a beautiful look to it. So this will probably take, you know, some of the leaves off this one here this week and along this box. I don't know, something about this kale in the, in the fall, it's really good. Especially after you get your first frosts. That's why I want to make sure this grows back pretty well because when you get your first frosts, the ones like these Bates kale, boy, they really have some great flavors pull, pulling out of those leaves. I don't know what the frost does to it, but it really helps uh, accentuate that flavor. So that's the kale. Let's see, poinsettia is doing well. It'll be moving down under the house probably, I think maybe next week. So I want to make sure I get this put down under the house and back into the grow tents, or at least just back into the house with an LED light over the top of it. So that way it'll survive over the winter. Cause it's done really well out here outside. I mean, you can see it's got a lot of nice new growth. I mean, it's really healthy looking. I mean, it's dropped some of its leaves, so that's why I kind of worry if I leave it out here too much longer. The evening cold will start to, uh, to sap its nutrients and it'll put it into a kind of a weird state that I'll have to bring it back from inside. As mentioned in one of the other videos, that's, that's one of our harvests for this week. The basil, you can see, is kind of, uh, shutting down. It's not as much growth, not as much bigger. We're still getting enough leaves though to where we can have it in our salads. So I'm still pretty happy with having this little basil, this basil hutch kind of grow a greenhouse stand out here. It's been a nice addition. I'll do this next year again. Well, I guess that's kind of the update for the deck. Oh, I forgot to talk about that in the other video. We harvested off all the gala apples and so uh, Paul is going to make some applesauce with that this week. And what else? Well, I guess the sunflowers, they're kind of finishing off over there. They're pretty much done for the season. The grapes and the, uh, the kiwi are really starting to fill in that trellis over there. I'm going to end up having to probably put in another uh, cable and a stake over here to actually pull that tight because the uh, kiwis and stuff, they're starting to weigh that down. So Paul is worried that it may collapse. And I don't think it'll collapse, but... I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do as she asks. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'll talk to you guys again next week. Have a good weekend. Or well, This is actually Labor Day weekend, so uh, the rest of my weekend after today, after I do the gardening, I'm going to be going back inside to start working on some fall projects. And that's one of the things that uh, is going to probably change next for this fall is I'm not going to be doing as much indoor gardening like I was doing the experimentation with a lot of different things. I'm probably going to be doing more inside projects to get a lot of this stuff done.
for our house so that way we can end up selling the house and uh, moving to a real farm to wherever we end up going. So I want to get uh, a bunch of the indoor projects done like the bathroom remodel that I started uh, last spring or this, this previous spring. I started working on that and that's pretty much been on hold since then so I need to finish that bedroom downstairs, the old master, along with the, uh, the master bathroom in that room. Get it done and then move on to the next projects because we want to get this house complete and move to a farm. All right, I'll talk to you guys again. Bye.